Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I have the last of the brand new releases from Magpie Beauty. I have the five glitters from the Floral Glitter Collection and I have the eight new hexagon shapes. And these all have corresponding glitters which I'll show you throughout the video. And I'm also gonna be doing a little demo after the swatches using the new Camellia in the hexagons and the glitters and I've used all Magpie Beauty products here I've used Give Me Strength and Let It Shine so you don't need acrylic or hard gel to do this at all so the new floral glitter collection is super pretty so we'll start off with rose this is a rose gold hollow chunky mix and I've just dabbed this randomly over the tacky layer of Garden of Edie which I think matches perfectly and you can really see that holographic coming through there. It is stunning. So Myrtle is a white iridescent medium mix and this is one of those glitters that you can put over any colour and it will just change it up and look amazing. So I put this over breakfast at Tiffany's and it was really washed out under my daylight lamps so I did take that little picture in the corner for you there and it just gives a really beautiful iridescent sheen to the nail. It is gorgeous. And then we have Camellia. This is a pink holographic chunky mix. It's just beautiful. As soon as I saw this one, I knew this was gonna go on my nails. So this is the one that I'm gonna be using in my demo later on. So then we have Hyacinth, this is a blue iridescent medium mix. This is one of those blues that give off that gold and green iridescence, really pretty. And I thought the best way to show this off was to sugar this. So I just did one layer of Give Me Strength and then poured on the glitter and then cured it in my lamp and it looks so pretty. And then finally we have Marigold, which is a mustard iridescent mix. This is lovely as well. This is like sunshine in a bottle. It just gives off all those really lovely yellow gold tones. And again, I've just inset a picture so you can see it in natural daylight and where you can really see the iridescence. So I'm gonna show you the different colors for the hexagon shapes and I'm gonna show you their corresponding glitter in case you wanted to match them up. So these are the silver holographic ones and of course this matches the glitter Tara. Everyone needs a silver holographic in their collection. It's just a really good staple. So these are the hexagon shapes in Frankie and they really do match the glitter well. And this one is so holographic and bright. So these match the glitter Gabby, that really bright champagne holographic. Then these match the glitter Delilah from Summer 18, I think it was. And that's that ocean blue iridescent mix. So these match Charlotte, their counterpart, beautifully. It's that rose gold chunky metallic. Then these match Flossy, that white unicorn iridescent. And then we have the hexagons that match up with Beth. And then back to the ones that I'm going to be using. This is Camellia. This is that super pink holographic mix. The sparkle is just off the scale. It looks amazing. So my personal preference on using the hexagon shapes is to use in a wet layer of Give Me Strength. So I'll do one layer of Magpie Gel Colour and cure that. 
one layer of give me strength which i leave wet place the pieces into the wet layer and cure those into place encapsulate with another layer of give me strength and then one layer of top coat to finish so i'm doing this chunky glitter fade so you can do this over any magpie gel color or you can just leave a natural nail clear if you wanted to, to do this on natural nails just start out with the magpie base coat so then i go in with one layer of give me strength and as i said i'm just dropping these down into the wet layer and i'm going to cure those into place so once i've got my chunky pieces down i just go in with an old brush and place in the glitter just to fill in the empty spaces and then once i'm happy with all the placement i cure that in my lamp and i do double the cure time for 120 seconds So once that's fully cured, I go in with the Magpie Duster quite roughly to remove any excess glitter particles. And then I go in with two layers of Give Me Strength, curing in between. And then what that's going to give me is a really nice encapsulation. So after I've done that, I just buff with a 180 grit buffer. And that makes the nail really nice and smooth. So with the soft brush, I just get out all of the little um, bits of dust and then this is the best bit I go in with let it shine and just check out that sparkle so once that top coat is cured and the inhibition layer removed that is your set done so these are the finished nails and they are uber sparkly, like seriously holographic and sparkly in real life. And I know a lot of you don't use acrylic and hard gel. So this is a really good way of getting that crystal clear, like glassy glitter look. So Give Me Strength is definitely one to pick up if you don't have that. Great for encapsulating glitter work like this. So thank you so much guys for watching and thank you to Magpie for sending me all the new releases. I absolutely loved playing with all of them. So I shall see you in the next one. Bye.